Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at creating a concatenate function. You have probably used text to columns, but what Excel does not have, I've got a little table here, that can concatenate a range. Now there is a concatenate function, and you can also do it with your and signs, but now it does not have a space in there. It is kind of annoying. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a concatenate function. If you've never created a function, you're gonna do that in a module. If you don't have a module, you're gonna click on this little guy and add a module. And the way that functions work is you have to have a module and your macros have to be enabled, otherwise it will not work. And so we're gonna go function and we're gonna call this concat range, RNG as range. And so functions, you pass them variables. Now you've done this a lot in Excel and the sum function, you pass a range. This is the same here. Now we're gonna call this delimit as a string. Okay, so now I've got my function. Let's make this a little bigger so you can see what's going on. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna create a loop. So this is gonna be for each CL. CL is gonna be my variable for a cell in RNG, and then I'm gonna go next. Okay, now the other thing that you're gonna do with a function, and I'm kind of starting at the end here, is you're, you have to pass something back to your function. And so this is gonna be concat range and we're gonna pass C, which is a variable that we're gonna put in here. Now we're gonna start C at equals to, equals to blank because we're not gonna pass anything. We're gonna start it there. Now for each one of these loops, we wanna to add to C. So we're gonna go C is equal to C and whatever's in the range or whatever's in the cell and whatever our delimit is. And now we have a fully functioning function, no pun intended. So what this is going to do is, let's go ahead and put a little pause here so that you can kind of see what's going on. We're gonna go equals concat range. And then the first thing we're gonna do is put this range and then the delimiter, which is whatever is gonna be put in between. And in this case, I'm just gonna do a space. So now we've got C is equal to blank. And if I go through this, C is equal to John plus space. Notice that that was my CL. Now it's going to, my CL is J, so it's gonna be John, and then it's gonna be John and J and whatever the delimiter is. And we're gonna just keep going through this. Um, just notice something here. We wanna get rid of that extra space, so we're gonna trim that out. And that's gonna get rid of the last delimit that gets put on there and we are good to go. So you'll notice, I'm gonna take this off, run this. You'll notice that it becomes John Smith. Now as I come down here, you'll notice that it does that whole range. Now what's cool about this, not that you would necessarily want to do this, but you could actually grab a huge range. So let's get rid of this guy right here. Let's delete that and let's grab the whole thing. Now this is not going to be pretty, but it does actually illustrate that it'll go through not just a row, but it could go through columns. Um, it goes through whatever that range is and it, it reads it just like it would a book. So that is the delimit function. I hope this helps you out. Hope you enjoyed.